Hello. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to track objects through um, editing on Final Cut Pro X like this. Or like this. So stick around if you guys want to see how to do that. All right, let's get to it. All right, so like I said, this is going to be done in Final Cut Pro X. Are you guys ready? All right, let's do it. So we got our clip. And once you've installed the plugin and everything like that, you'll find it in your titles. It's going to show as Pixel Film Final Cut Pro X Auto Tracker. And it has three to pick from. They all kind of do the same thing. Just depends what you're working on. Um, this is for a drop zone. This is for drop zone and text. And then this is just for text. I'm actually going to be doing the drop zone and text. So once you've decided which one you're going to use, you drag that down over the top of the clip that you are going to be using um, you can cut this just like any other title let me go ahead and do that get rid of this all right okay so you highlight the title and then you go over to the right where your title inspector is you hit track editor and once you do that a new uh, window is going to pop up and here you're actually going to do the tracking. You're gonna select your subject and you're gonna just put that square over the top of it. I'm gonna be tracking this cup and I'm gonna do it there. Um, you can actually use a circle shape here or a square or rectangle shape. Now we're ready to do this. From here, you're going to click this arrow forward button. You can actually go forward and back um, but this is the beginning of the clip, so I'm just going to go forward because that's the only way to go. So once uh, that starts, it actually starts tracking. Um, it goes frame by frame and it moves along with your object. Um, something I learned is that you can press stop on here. It'll pause it and you can reposition it and actually you can keyframe these on your own too. So um, this is something that I've been doing to improve the accuracy of what's tracking, especially if... Um, it's shifting kind of like it just kind of did. It was a little off to the side um, as the cup is moving. So I repositioned it and then I'm gonna hit this arrow forward button again. And then it's just gonna do its thing. You really just have to sit here and watch it. You see how it kind of, it's, it's off center. I repositioned it and it actually keyframed it on its own here. Um, and then I'm gonna continue watching it go. It's kind of off a little bit again. So I'm gonna recenter it and it keyframed it on its own. Continue until the whole clip is finished. I'm gonna pause it there actually and reposition it and just continue doing that until the whole clip is over. Um, this pops up every time that um, it doesn't track it successfully. You can hit continue and um, just hit the arrow forward button again, um, or you can track it on your own. You can keyframe it on your own, I meant to say. So now that we're out of frame, it looks like it's out of frame for the most part here. Yeah, okay, so that's pretty much it here. And you can actually go um, back to the front of the clip and just kind of make sure that everything looks nice and smooth and i mean for the most part i'm pretty happy with it yeah okay we're set we're ready donezo then you hit export data that takes a little while sometimes da 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 dee 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 okay now that it's been exported you have already done the first part of this whole thing. You're pretty much done with most of the work. Um, now all you have to do is um, insert the image that you want to show um, in that tracker tracking point. So you go over to your title inspector and then you go down to where you see drop zone no source and there's a little box here. You click inside of that and you can pick an image from your um, imported media to insert there so you select your clip and then you hit apply clip there so that's been applied okay now that we've done that we're going to go back to the title inspector and you're going to hit 
track mode right here, control mode, track mode, you're going to hit on screen control mode. This here is going to show you the um, image. And this is one thing that took me forever to figure out. I was not getting past this point. I was like, where is the heart? I've applied the clip. I cannot find it. But on screen control mode and it shows you the image. Um, and I'm going to actually do some adjustments here. And then you can also change where on the X and Y axis the um, image is. So I'm going to center it a little bit more on the cup. And I'm actually going to make it hover over the cup. Kind of like this. Yes. Coffee beans. Coffee beans. Perfect. And then here, let's see what else do I want to do. I want to make this a little bit bigger, but not too big. And then I'm going to insert some text here. Changing the position of it as well. Okay, so now I'm just going to let it render and then we're going to see the final product. The reason why I really wanted to know how to do this is because I think it looks really cool when you see this type of tracking and like text animation and videos and stuff like that. So I really wanted to learn how to do it and the only way I knew how to do it was to do it manually and actually do it on my own frame by frame every step of the way and that takes an incredibly long time so it wasn't very like... Um, fun to do it but now i feel like this is kind of fun so let's look at it now there it is Ooh. see and i still got to fix that ending um that ending there um but it looks really good yeah all right so i'm gonna fix this last part and um actually what you can do here is you can go back into that same title and go back to the track editor and do any changes that you need to make There it is. Guys, did you guys see that? So what I did, I added a cross dissolve to the front and to the end of it. I'm going to make this cross dissolve a little bit bigger. That's pretty much it, guys. Track any object. Yay. And then the dissolve right there. You guys see that? Cool. Alright guys, that was it. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this. Videos of me showing you guys how to do things that I've learned. Alright guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and you guys take care.